Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and today I decided to take your guys' advice. I'm going to be doing an upgrade on this computer. I'm switching the boot drive to the 960 Evo M.2. Um, it's an NVMe SSD by Samsung, obviously. Most of you guys already know this because that is actually what you guys recommended me to use. Um, I have kind of a weird setup with the SSDs and the hard drives and all that kind of thing. It's kind of inevitable just because of the way I've slowly upgraded this system. I haven't done it. it this wasn't a single boom, bam build. Um, wasn't like that at all. It was steadily upgraded over time. So I've ended up, I think there's three SSDs in this system now and two different hard drives just because I've slowly had to get new ones and add more space, especially since I film in 4K. Um, but what a lot of you guys suggested was switching the operating system from a normal SATA drive um, to a you know NVMe drive like that so that my operating system and everything was running a little bit quicker and that you know I could use that SATA drive to go with the current projects or whatever, you know, I have a RAID 1, no wait, a RAID 0 configuration with the SSDs right now of two SSDs and maybe I can do kind of a better maybe like RAID 5 or something like that of the three SSDs or um, what I was thinking as well is I might end up just taking that SSD out and just using it as another drive in the test rig here for more games and stuff because this one doesn't have a ton of storage. And now that I'm thinking about it, that's probably what I'm going to do. So basically in this video, you'll see me take this all apart and we'll see it in a nice time lapse and get some more nice music. So let's get started. Quick pro tip for you guys, um, the screws that actually connect this to your motherboard do not come with the SSD itself. They actually come with your motherboard's manufacturer. So go back through and find those screws or if this is a new build, obviously you have them right there. So make sure you use those. So as you guys just saw in that little clip, I ended up leaving that SSD in there. It is now uh, deemed my gaming hard or gaming SSD. Um, so pretty much the only thing that's going to be on that SSD is just games. Everything else I left the same except that the boot drive is now the 960 Evo, um, you know, the NVMe drive. Um, it's actually right here behind the graphics card, so you can't really see it, which is fine. It doesn't really make any difference to me. 
But the one thing you did see me change was I did change the hard drive that's on top over here. I spray painted the sides of it. You know, there was this silver square all the way around the blue, um, which is now black. And I also left the little bit of silver rim that goes around that blue sticker I have. Um, just to kind of tie in the little hints of silver I have throughout this build, um, the blue and the black. So thought that was a good design choice. Maybe you guys like it, maybe you don't. Let me know in the comments below. Um, but I think it looks nice. Um, I'm not sure about the stickers on the GPU right now. I'm leaving them on there right now just to see if I like it or not. If not, I'm just gonna peel them off, no big deal. I didn't hurt anything underneath it by putting them on there. So we'll see. But if you guys like it, again, leave a comment, let me know. I'm curious what you guys think of this build. I know you see it, obviously, in every one of these videos. Um, so definitely let me know what you think in the comments. I always look at the comments in my videos. Um, obviously, I, I think you guys probably know this. I'm pretty good about getting back to you on things you ask, whatever. Um, and I'm always interested in your guys' points, because obviously this whole video was created based off of what you guys were telling me, which was to switch to an NVMe drive for my boot drive, which honestly from first impressions is awesome because that was by far the quickest Windows 10 install I've done. It's still installing some of my programs and stuff like that because I do have CAD software on here, video editing software and games. So there is quite a bit of that still to do, um, but my initial impressions is really good. So thank you guys for that pointer. I hope you guys like this video. This is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya.